Well, welcome back to Handy Andy. I've been out for a while. Um, I've been thinking up of a new project to work on, and I really didn't want to do things that other people have done. Um, my best video right now is a eight minute quick video. Um, I hope I can film more of those as I come up with more content for that. But right now I have a dream of mine, and it's something that drove me to create this channel, and it's something I've been thinking about for a very long time. I really, really like trains and steam engines, and I haven't been able to really adapt it. And I've been collecting all these tools around me and the possibilities so I can actually do some of this. So we're going to go down that path. So what we're going to start doing is building a Stuart Model 10H, which stands for horizontal, uh, steam engine. Um, I didn't want to buy the castings, um, they're a little too expensive for my own personal taste. If anybody else wants to do it, that's fine. But I want to try casting. I want to try sand casting. So I took the drawings and I really don't know if I can share them here in the United States. So I'm not going to share them because I want to respect Stuart. Um, they've been really good with me about getting me stuff from the UK um, in the west coast of California. In San Jose that's a long way but I got it and then I converted it all into 3d um, I'll show you guys some of that right now you can see the drawings are there now what I did after that is I took the models out and I'm gonna start building it from the bottom up and for that I actually went and bought a new 3d printer uh, I now have an SLA Creality CR002R um, I'll put a link below um, I bought it from one URL, um, people say to buy it from a different URL, and what I'm finding out is the URL I have is for the United States. Um, and so, before this coronavirus stuff broke out, because I'm in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak and I'm stuck at home, but I'm working every day, well, except Saturday and Sunday, Monday through Friday I have my regular job that I actually still have to work. So, I'm going to show you some stuff. Um, that I've done already so give me a second I'll be right back so I did do some parts and I printed them out and they're out through my garage workshop here already and the first thing I um, went and uh, casted was a flywheel this is a pretty simple flywheel um, those holes hit there to help it release I had some issues with the inside here it would not release too well on the casting this is actually FDMA, uh, FDM 3D printer. Uh, this is on the one that I created. Um, I don't have a video on it because it's close to 10 years old. Yeah. So now I got one called an SLA printer. Um, started lithography. Um, it, it prints parts out much prettier. Um, and this is, this is the sole plate. This is the bed box here. It's ready to go. Um, so with this though, I practiced casting it already and the casting came out re really really nice. I still have the sprue on there. Um, the inside casting on, the, on it was good. The only part I had issues here it was this, but it was on the outside diameter so it really doesn't matter. Um, this is aluminum. Um, I just wanted to try it before I try the hardest metal I have yet to melt. I did do bronze, um, or excuse me, brass. So brass is working fine now. Um, and um, now let's try some cast iron. Now, where did I get my cast iron? I actually went to the local auto shop. I asked them if they had any cast iron parts. I got a water pump and a cub of a car. I also went to the thrift store before the quarantine and I got myself some parts for um, a floor jack. So we'll see what type of results I get. Now the first thing I did was I actually made my flasks. Um, I made two, uh, a part A, part B. Um, I accidentally cut this, but sand doesn't leak out of it, so it's okay. Um, I can see the top and then the top and where the A1 and A1 to A1. And then there's these little locks that I created here. And then what I use inside of it to lock them up are pins that I created out of eighth inch um, 
uh, uh, welding rod and they just go in here and fit very sn snugly and they hold this all together. So what I'm going to do first is I'm not going to actually talk through the next bit. I'm actually going to prep all this. Um, actually, sorry. I take it back. I have to talk. I was going to not talk at all and then narrate over this. And I can't do that, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not that type of YouTuber. So let's see where this goes. All right. So in a second, we're going to come back to my setup and we're going to prep this to set up to um, uh, uh, cast two parts. I'm going to try two at once. So... Let's get to it. 